Welcome back to my channel, Unlimited Projects. In the shop today, 68 GTO. I bought this car running and driving. It is a 400, not the original motor, not the original trans. The front clip just got ripped off of it before I started videotaping. It has his and her shifter. It has in dash tachometer. It is a real GTO 242 car. Color codes AA. It was originally black on black. Still has the black interior. Somebody painted it red on the outside. There's the hood. Still says ram around the front. Has some bubbling spots, rust here and there. It's a good driver. For those of you who know my cars, the Impala, the Caddy, some other cars, I drive them. I like to drive them. They don't got to be perfect. They don't got to be show quality. You hit the key, they got to run good, stop good. Um, no rattles. You know, nice cars. The front end was messed up on this thing. I pulled the bumper off the front. I pulled the front fenders off. They didn't do the body mounts right on the rad support. I'll cover that in the next video. Uh, it doesn't have the right air cleaner on it. I do have a factory dual snorkel in the trunk for it. It has... It was originally a four-speed car. There's the bracket. Uh, there you'll see the boot for the clutch rod. It was originally a four-speed car. I'm thinking it was converted back in the 80s to an automatic. It does have the hole in the floor, but they carp they put a plate over it and carpet it, and then they put the automatic shifter in. Uh, I had, like I said, I have a factory dual snorkel for it. Um, the radiator was leaking, so I am test fitting a new radiator. That's when I saw that the front clip was not mounted right, so I decided to fix that. And in turn, we're going to do the body mounts on the whole car. And there goes the heater. On, and we're going to put a new disc brake setup on it. Because originally the car was equipped with drums. Somebody threw a hodgepodge disc brake setup on it. I'm going to do a good conversion kit, new booster, new master cylinder, new calipers, and do all that, put new brakes on it. I'm going to leave the back drums on. Somebody did swap a 10-bolt Chevy into it. Uh, probably from a Chevelle or something. I don't know why, but the BOP 10-bolt is gone. Um, has points. I'm going to convert it to electronic ignition. Um, it has other few other stupid, quirky things. It needs the, radi the antenna fixed. Uh, this is just a piece I pulled off of the, um, in front of the radiator. Um, you know, it's, it's not perfect. Like I said, if somebody wants me to restore it, then you can buy it and restore it. I'm going to make sure the door's shut good. I'm going to make sure it's an excellent driver, stops and goes great. This is the next project. Uh, I should have filmed it coming in. I drove it here. Uh, radiator was leaking. I pulled off, pulled out the radiator, saw that the rad support's not mounted right. Uh, so I'm gonna fix all that, and it's snowballing into a little bit bigger project. But I don't like my project sitting. This is gonna get done quicker than it's not gonna sit. I'm gonna get ready to pull the body off of the frame clean and paint the frame. I'll show you in the next video what's going on with that. Uh, I'm going to be driving this car in... I'm going to shoot for 30 days. I'm going to be driving this car um, with new brakes, good cooling system, maybe a few other tricks. So, stay tuned. It's coming.